Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nick Acosta, and I want to invite you guys to grow with me as I grow with God. Let's grow. Let's grow. Let's grow. What's up, guys? I hope everybody's doing good today. So, um, you know, I was looking at Philippians, right? The book of Philippians. And I saw how Paul was talking about rejoicing, thanksgiving, remembering to not look back, to move forward, remembering that we are citizens of heaven, that the Lord's returning for us, um, to have hope, uh, things like that, right? And I was just uh, reminded how many times we uh, we get discouraged uh, because number one, we forget that, yeah, we do have a destination. The gospel does include a destination. It does consist of good news about us having eternal life, entering God's kingdom. Jesus talked about it plenty of many a time. So don't let nobody confuse you and tell you that when you preach the gospel, you shouldn't be preaching about a destination anymore because that, that's nonsense. And I know what a lot of people are trying to say. And they're trying to say, hey, you know, it's not just about you know, uh, believing in Christ, confessing him and just waiting to go to heaven one day while on earth you're just living for yourself and you're discouraged and you're this and you're that. I understand what they're trying to say. We should know who we are, live knowing God, knowing his word, representing him, being a light to the world and just being encouraged because, uh, you know, we've been forgiven of our sins and he's filled us with his spirit. And now we can, you know, follow after Christ, follow after Christ's example, live like him right? Imitate him, right? But um, don't forget that just because he's filled us with his spirit and we have a calling and a purpose to be the light in this world, to preach the gospel, a purpose, uh, you know, to practice righteousness, to be holy as he is holy, to do good works, to bear good fruit, um, to love, right? To, to, to be perfected in love, to love our brothers and our sisters, to treat people as we want to be treated. Just because that's included in the gospel, we are to focus on that as well. Here, us being here on the earth, doesn't mean that we should exclude the fact that there is a destination, right? That we will enter God's kingdom one day, that he will return for a bride, for a church, right? For his people, his sheep, his servants, his soldiers, his workers, his harvest, amen? And that's good news because living here on this earth just for you know, 80, 90, 100, 120 years is nothing compared to eternity. So we must always have eternity as our priority on the top of our heads. Let's remember that what we're doing here, what we're working down here for, we will see the fruit of it and benefit of it in eternity. And it says that we will be with him forever, right? Forever. No tears, no sadness, right? No death. Come on, no sickness, no sin. Beautiful. We're not even going to need faith or hope. It's just going to be righteousness, right? Us submitting to him, obeying him, worshiping him, us loving. It says love will abide forever. Not faith, not hope, but love. So we will live like him. We will have our glorified bodies. It's going to be amazing. So I just wanted to remind you guys, do not forget that you are indeed a citizen of heaven, that you are in this world, but very soon the Lord is returning. And if you continue in the faith, if you overcome as he overcame by faith, if you do not depart from the doctrines of the apostles found in the word of God, if you just continue trusting in him, believing him, if you continue growing, renewing your mind, being transformed, knowing him, being in relationship and communion and fellowship with him, if you just continue you live in this walk, working your salvation, working your salvation, working it out. It says work out your salvation, right? If you continue doing that, huh? it says that he will return and find his bride dressed in white clothing, meaning pure and the white clothing it says that it's the righteous acts of the saints so if you just continue guys endure persevere overcome deny yourself deny the things that your flesh wants walk according to the spirit do not make provisions for your flesh follow god spend time with him spend time in his word right seek his kingdom and righteousness hunger and thirst for righteousness 
fall in love with him and fall out of love with yourself, with image, with vanity, with money, with the things of the world, with food, with lust, with, uh, you know, with, with people. You know, a lot of times we're just addicted to being around people and talking to people and, you know, we're infatuated with people and celebrities and social media. And it's like, no, no, no. We must set our minds on the things of the spirit. We must be focused on spiritual things. The Bible says be spiritually minded. Sometimes we forget that we are going to be in eternity with the Lord. We will enter his kingdom, that he will have a new heaven and a new earth. And Jesus Christ will reign forever and ever. And if we forget that we will be spiritual beings forever, glorified bodies, spiritual bodies, celestial bodies. And we forget that. <clears throat> so because of that, we stay focused on fleshy things, carnal things, bodily things, people things, right? Everybody wants to spend all day thinking about what they're going to eat, what they're not going to eat, how they're going to work out, when they're going to work out, what kind of exercises they're going to do. Everybody wants to spend time on, uh, you know, two hours on thinking about how they're going to dress, what they're going to put on, you know, when they're going to put this on and when they're going to put that on. And, and everything is just so material, material, flesh, flesh, carnal, carnal, physical, physical. And it's like we forget that the Bible says walk in the spirit, be led by the spirit, be spiritually minded. So let's remember that we do have a destination and we will be in eternity in the kingdom of God with our Lord and King and that on this earth we have one mission and that's to be spiritual, to follow the Lord, to keep his word and to represent him appropriately and effectively as the light and the salt in this earth. Guys, don't forget that you are only here for a certain amount of time and then the rest of your eternity, you will be serving God with a new body in a new heaven, in a new earth. It's going to be magnificent. It's going to be powerful what the book of Revelation prophesies and it's not worth you just focusing on earth, focusing on things here, focusing on your business, focusing on people, on finances, on this. Listen, Jesus said, don't even worry about tomorrow. Just follow me. Just deny yourself. Just thank me. Just trust me for today. Tomorrow will have his own concerns and worries. Just don't even plan ahead. Just know God. Just know God. The Bible says that eternal life is to know the one and true God. The Bible says if we don't have love, we don't know God. The Bible says that Jesus will say to many people who thought they were right with him, depart from me, I never knew you. So I think it's time for us to focus on God today, focus on spiritual things today, focus on the things of the spirit to be spiritually minded, read the word, spend time in prayer with God. Come on, have godly conversations, go evangelize, go pray for people, go tell people about the Lord because not everybody has dozens and dozens of years left. Some people might die right now and you are the light in that darkness place. Amen. So remember your destination. Remember